Welcome back. Welcome to virtual learning here at Pine Mountain Middle School. This video is going to be an orientation on uploading documents on CTLS Learn for students. Now specifically for my class, we're going to upload some documents into the actual platform, which will be Word documents and other things. So let's get started. If you were here for the last video, you already learned how to log on. So we went to August 17th. I'm going to move my face out of the way there. We went to August 17th and we clicked on the digital sessions. We talked about if this was a live session, you would click there. So let's say the live session ended and now you have some documents that you need to work on. You have some assignments. You're going to navigate here to the lesson assignments that go with this lesson. And there are two different parts. The first part is a Venn diagram, which is a Word document that we're going to upload. And the other one is a single story discussion board. So in order to figure out what you're going to do, you're going to click on the start date. You'll see that there's some instructions that you can read through. And then there's a document. You need to download the document. You're going to press that green button there. And you see two different things came up down here. You're going to click on the one that says getting to know. That's the name of this document that you're going to work on. Once you open it, there is a tricky part. You make sure you have to click enable editing or when you try to click on things, it's not going to save anything. So enable editing. And then like any good student, I'm going to make sure I put my name. And well, I should put my first and last the date it's supposed to be august 17th for this right and then 2020 we're going to say i'm in first period then you're going to go through and type in your answers for things here and last one cool so now you have to save it as a teacher i'm going to recommend that i'm sorry as a student I, want, I would recommend that you keep it in the same place so when you have to upload things, they're easy to find. Maybe you're sharing a computer with a sibling. Consider using your own file on your desktop or if you have a flash drive. So for me, I'm going to save it to the desktop. And here we go, desktop, getting to know me. And then you see I have first name, last name here for my class. I would like you to put your first name dot last name here. You can take off the two. I'm going to leave it because I've made this video a few times. Um, so then you're going to hit save. Cool. So now you've completed your assignment. What's the next step? You have two different places where you can put things. Where it says add and edit response, that's really just going to be you typing in an answer. Here you're going to upload the actual document. You can see I've already done that, so I'm going to delete it and I'm going to do it again for you. So I did add a response. I have uploaded the document. Now I have to add an attachment here to upload. So add attachment. Now this is where you have to remember where you put it. I put it on my desktop and it was called Getting to Know Me Part 2. So I want that one open. Save and upload. Oh yes, file uploaded successfully. Done, right? No. You have not clicked the submit response button. It's not turned in until you click that button. So now I'm going to click that. Done. So you've done it. Awesome job. There is a part two I want to walk you through. Um, lesson assignments, return to assignments. And here's the second part. Now this one, there's a requirement where you need to watch a video. So you'll click here and I'll show you in a second, but it'll open right up um, right here for the video. And then you have some questions and responses in Microsoft Forms. So you would click this, watch the lovely YouTube video. And then after you watch the lovely YouTube video, you're going to click here to put in your responses. So these are required questions. You're going to put whatever your answers are. Hopefully you take more time than that or I'm going to know um, and so on and so forth and then submit answer. So my answer was submitted. I'll go back here and you'll notice that I don't necessarily need you to upload anything here as a teacher. I'm going to go through Microsoft Forms. I'll get your name from there 
and your answers as well. So I would just like you to put in a response. I have submitted a response on the Microsoft form. Thank you. And then save. Let me my picture again. I'm always in the way. Now, what's the one thing we can't forget to do? Hit that submit response. And that is how you upload a document and submit your assignments in CTLS Learn. So we'll see when we go back to the digital sessions, we click on that day, lesson assignments, we have turned them both in. Have a great day.